Hey guys, excited to share the new text after function. Let's take a look at using the text after. All right, so the first thing is you got to have a new version of Office 365. And when you get that going, you'll just simply click on formulas, text, and see if you have it. Text after. If you don't have it, stay tuned. It will come your way soon. It is going to replace the write function, um, in my opinion. Okay, so basically, how this works is you're going to, you know, ha have a have a delimiter and a text that you're working with. So in my case, I'm going to select A1, and if we look at A1, we can see that we have some dashes there. We want to pull out the last four after the, the, the second dash, okay? All right, so we'll simply put a delimiter as our dash here. And you can see that at this particular point of time, um, it is re it, it sees that that dash is number one right here, okay? So if we wanted to skip the second one, then we would need to put a two right there. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and you can see that um, we're good here. The last one, ignore case. Not going to worry about that right now. Hit OK. And there we have the last four here. Okay, pretty cool. Well, yes, you can do that with the right function, no problem. And I'm going to show you that with the last four fake SSNs here, here. So if I go equals right, old school way, just simply, you know, just say, hey, I want the last four of those. Okay, I'm going to get four. All right. So the one thing that's different about the the one thing that's completely different is you have to actually say in the right function, you have to say how many that you want. But watch this, guys. Watch this here. I'm going to copy this down and, and notice that sometimes I didn't get four. For example, here we have one that's not four. We have four, five, six. Here's another one here, two, five, five. What's up with that? Here's one here. Only I only got two characters. Well, there's spaces in there. If I double click in there, you can see how there is a a space right there. And so that's what's giving us the right four. We really got the the last four using the right function. So now using the text after, what's really cool is there's no four that's needed. You just simply type equals text after. We'll put that in there. Our delimiter is going to be a dash. We're going to pick up on the second instance. Okay, so take a look at that function here. Just like the first one that I did. All right, copy it down. And you'll notice that with the text after, it returns the text after it and it omits that ex any extra spaces in there. Okay, so that is just awesome. There there are no no spaces in there, so forth. So uh, that's why I think that the text after is, is definitely a superior function that will replace the right function. Eh, but right now not everybody has the text after, so you got to make sure that you're working with Office 365 and you have that new feature there. Awesome stuff here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.